We're just so appreciative of the Governor Justice taking a lead role in, in advancing legislation to save this plan. I mean, this plan is critical not only not only because of its role within that mid-Ohio Valley area where, where it supplies over uh, a million, two million homes with uh, household energy, uh, but it also is, uh, you know, one of, uh, of eight plants we have here within the state of West Virginia that uh, uh, consumes, a, you know, great uh, amount of coal, keeps coal miners working, keeps mines operating, keeps the community vibrant in terms of uh, uh, all the revenues. I think there's over $400 million uh, that is generated uh, within the local and state uh, economies from this uh, single plant. Uh, over 160 people work there full time. Uh, all told, probably five, six uh, additional hundred uh, mining jobs uh, that are directly uh, created uh, from from the existence of this plant. State of the art plant, fully compliant. The reduction of this tax is just so critically important. First of all, you know it it, it ranks amongst the uh, you know the highest tax burdens on a coal-fired power plant. This plant alone. And uh, you know, it just uh, it, it it just could could make or break this plan. And uh, we, we're fully supportive of the legislation. Uh, you know, we're so appreciative of the leadership that the governor and our legislative leaders have uh, put in play here uh, as it relates to this plan. We've had pretty good support from from both houses here uh, under the leadership of Mitch Carmichael and, and Speaker Hanshaw. Uh, and uh, as it relates to uh, uh, preserving coal jobs and seeing that coal uh, plays a vital role within our state's economy uh, going forward.